We have some CMAX staff that's on vacation this week, so I get to hold it down at the front desk for a little bit. Haven't been up here in a while. It's nice. I'm setting up for a workshop, but I've got a little bit of time. And I know just yesterday I was like, I think this MacBook Pro is coming in a couple of weeks, but it showed up today, one day later. Not bad. And I know you've seen a bunch of unboxing videos already. There's there's hundreds of them. There's thousands of them. Uh, you don't need, you don't probably don't need to see me unbox this. I just want to get down to the point and see if uh, I can plug the HDMI cable into the HDMI port that's built into the MacBook Pro now and connect it to the ATEM Mini and use it as a source. Do I need uh, the Apple HDMI dongle? Uh, yeah, so yeah, I guess unboxing, here it is. Uh, Space Gray got, uh, yeah, that MagSafe cable. Um, got hopefully some stickers, I think. Uh, got power brick. Uh, so this is not the totally bottom end 14 inch. It's like, it's like the 14 inch that has a M1 Pro chip that doesn't have any binning. So it's like six, uh, 10 CPU cores and, um, I don't know. 16 GPU cores, yeah. Uh, half a terabyte storage. I run everything external. Um, anyway, we've got we've got NASes here that I, I hook up to, so not a big deal. Got SSDs. Um, yeah, so let's power this up and see if I can plug, where's that HDMI port? There it is, HDMI into this A10 Mini and get some signal and use this as a source on my productions. Get out of here. Get out of here, paper. All right, all right. Here we go. Do they still put paper? Oh yeah, they still put paper on the screen. Uh, just opening the lid turns on the computer. I don't know how I feel about the anodized black underneath the keys. I guess it's, I guess it's fine. I guess it's cool. Um, I'm gonna do a very quick, quick run through of the setup process and I'll be right back in just a sec. 12 seconds later. There she is, she's beautiful and I've already got my grubby fingerprints all over it. I do really like the return of the upside down T. I know where, which uh, if I'm going left, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm going right, but I'm actually hitting up a bunch here. So that's nice. Anyway, uh, I've got the A10 Mini running. I've got my screen. There's the M50, hello. Uh, and I've got this computer plugged in via HDMI through the Quack Quack adapter that I love oh so very, very much. I'm gonna take its HDMI cable here and I've got too many cables. Too many cables. Oh, I'm gonna drop my SSD. Okay. And I'm gonna take it and plug it in here, one-handed. I think I've got it in. And hey, there we are. Uh, we are on the screen. It's holding steady. It looks like we're mirroring. Let's uh, let's check out the system preferences under displays. Yeah, we're we've got it mirrored. Let's uh, I don't know. Let's make it. Uh, let's stop mirroring. Okay, so now it's its own display. And there it is. So I, I got my 120 hertz back, not that you can tell on YouTube here. Um, and where is it? Oh, there's, so it's off to the right. So if I go off to the right, there it is. There's my tiny little mouse there. And yes, we seem to be holding steady. I'm very happy. Yes, the new MacBook Pros with a built-in HDMI port do work in the ATEM Mini as a source. This is great. Wonderful news. Uh, I can use this MacBook as a source on, on the ATEM if I wanted to like for video playback and stuff. I'm very, very happy with this. And then of course, like we figured out yesterday, 
the Quack Quack or SMK Link, that uh, silver uh, USB hub, is still available at B&H. It's expensive, but it's still available. And then, of course, Apple's own USB-C to HDMI adapter does work for sending data to the ATEM Mini, at, you know, as a source. Uh, you know, I was I, I I would search like, can I use a MacBook as a source on as an ATEM Mini? And I would just like find videos that are like how to plug in an ATEM Mini into your computer, but to run it, you know, as the ATEM software. This I, I know this works, but I wanted to know because my Vava adapter that I also love. UHS-2 SD card reader, excellent. Uh, micro SD card reader, excellent. Uh, Ethernet, one gigabit Ethernet, also very nice. But I can't use it to plug my MacBook as a source into the ATEM Mini. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm not gonna do like any uh, comparisons or speed tests or anything. If you want that, go watch, I don't know, Linus Tech Tips, Snazzy Labs. Uh, I, I just wanna make cool stuff. Uh, this, this computer I think was the best for what I need to do here at CMAC and not break the bank. I'm trying to record a video every single day, upload almost every single day. If you like this and it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.